So six pounds Pilsner, two pounds two row, half a pound Carapils. Going in. Uh, about 155 or 68 Celsius. Looks good to me. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. We have a brew day video for you followed by a tasting. And uh, uh, like I said earlier, I'm gonna try to do these. They seem to be more, um, more interesting actually if you have a brew day and the tasting in one. Hang on till the end and I'll be tasting this beer by the magic of television. Today, I'm brewing up a blonde ale. An American blonde it's going to be a BJCP standard beer hey this is great even though it's winter time I've been brewing if you've been watching my videos before I've been brewing dark beers I, bre I brewed up a uh, it was a stout and also brewed up a let's see what was it uh, after that I brewed up a brown ale and um, and uh, I did an English ale as well, which was nice, but now I'm, I'm breaking off into an even lighter beer. This is going to be the lightest beer I've ever brewed. Um, and I think the SRM in it is three, so uh, that's pretty light. Um, but anyway, so I'm doing a 90-minute um, boil on this just to avoid any DMS off flavors that, uh, that come from under-boiling light, uh, lighter beers. And uh, so I'm, instead of a, a, the regular 60 minute boil, I'm gonna do a 90, but I'm gonna add my hop, my first edition at 60, my second edition, uh, like I said before, at 20. So, uh, so it, should be, it should be fun. Uh, on with the brew day. Should be 1.040. Looking for 1.040. Come on. So 
we've got about five and a half gallons. Wow, 1.0. What do you think that is? Yep, 1.04. We give it 4.0, right on. USO5 yeast starter going in. There it is, everybody. Blonde Bombshell. An American Blonde Ale. Looking fairly clear, not, not totally clear. White creamy head on that. You smell a uh, malty sweetness on... Just very, very clean, though. I was very glad that the house was cool when I brewed this. Um, maybe a little hint of the uh, Hallatower and Mittel fruit how, uh, hops in there. Very, very mild though, very, but very clean. Anyway, just a straw color. The SRM is, is right around three. I don't know if those are too exacting when they say the SRM is supposed to be su such and such, but uh, not a real big head on that. Um, uh, poured it out of the keg and it set for a little while, but I uh, <laughs> had to get the camera on and everything. But yeah, SRM is around three. But uh, anyway, cheers to your good health. Let's go ahead and check this out. It tastes so much like a lager. Um, I think those Hallatower hops or probably used in a lot of lagers. <clears throat> it almost tastes, some of my friends, one of my uh, uh, most critical critics of my beer said this is one of the best beers. He's, I think he thinks this is actually the best one I've ever made. But he also said, my friend Billy, also said that it tastes like Stella. I don't know if you've ever had Stella. Um, we have it in the States. I guess it's I guess it's worldwide. I don't know. I, I'm not sure who makes it, but I've had Stella. But this is like he said it tastes like Stella, but it's actually better uh, because it's an ale. It has a little more flavor, and I have to agree. I think it's like kind of like uh, Stella's uh, uh, evil twin or, or Stella's fraternal twin. Not identical twins. But uh, but twins who kind of look similar, but you can tell them apart. You, have you ever seen twins like that? Um, but uh, this is kind of it is a, it is a twin uh, in, in a sense with with lagers. Uh, I've heard that a lot of craft beer uh, <clears throat> breweries make these at, kind of in, in place of lagers, uh, blonde ales. But uh, and I call this uh, call this the blonde bombshell. Uh, I don't know if that's a worldwide term either. In the States, uh, bombshell, it's an old term actually, they don't use it anymore, but um, used to mean when you, when you saw a woman who was very attractive, she was just a bombshell. But anyway, that's what this is. To me, this is, uh, yeah, I think this is definitely one of the best of uh, 2015 for sure. It's light, it's the consummate uh, lawnmower beer. Very light, uh, just crisp, very crisp 
um, and uh, medium body goes down. It's just drinkable. I don't know how you f drinkability to me is like. Could you sit there and drink like eight of these? Well, I'd like to. I'll never do that, but <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's drinkability. I would I would definitely like to. You could just sit and drink. And then this would be great if you lived in the uh, in the southern hemisphere right now because this is the time to brew this. Real easy. Eight pounds. Well, I'll put the recipe below, but it's eight pounds pilsner. It's almost all pilsner. Two pounds um, uh, pale two row. And then, um, and that's it for the, uh, well, I put in a, a half pound also of uh, carapils. And, <clears throat> and then a Hallitauer, it's a 90 minute boil, but Hallitauer hops in at uh, 60 minutes, uh, one ounce, and then a half ounce at 20. And folks, that's it. USO5 yeast, yeast and, and you end up with one of those. But anyway, that looks... Uh, Looks very delicious. I think I shall have another taste. Wow, it just goes down so easy. So doggone easy. But anyway, there it is. Blonde Bombshell, American Blonde Ale. Cheers, everybody. I'll see you on the next brewing video.